Welcome to another battle commentary. This was the second game against the insect team in the team championship tournament. They chose uh, the arid cliffs to play the second game on. So they are the attackers in this game. On this map there are several paths. Here, 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 all this area. Also this one, this one, this one, and here, to uh, come up the hill. But uh, in most scenarios people only use uh, this one for the defender side and then this one for the attacker side. <coughs> they are not forested and many troops can move up at the same time without being attacked directly by higher numbers. The position on the hill is a bit unbalanced. The terrain over here in this whole area uh, favors the attacker. You can see that there is a ridge on the uh, attacker side which can be used very well to uh, for engagements. This area is quite balanced on the other side. So um, as the defender you are normally defensive over here and have to gain some advantage on the right. So for the nations as attackers we have Krokel as Russia and Goldie with Britain. Uh, the Russian army consists of six cavalry, five mounted rifles, and one Cossack cavalry, three light infantry, three lifeguards at the Moscow musketeers, and some musketeers. Um, a standard build for Britain with two cavalry, uh, three foot guards, and the cornered rangers, and five lights, and a lot of foot infantry. Atos played as Prussia. He um, also brought the classic build with four cavalry and three foot guards. And I played as Sweden. Uh, oof. <laughs> I think 11 line infantry with four guards and uh, one Jäger unit to deploy stakes for our defensive line here. <coughs> and seven uh, mounted rifle, mounted Jaegers, and a classic general staff as well. I did not uh, deploy my cavalry in the in the line infantry because this will uh, bring chaos to the formation, and um, I want all riders more or less up here at the same time. So on this map you need to uh, secure a foothold in this forest first. This also uh, denies any enemy cavalry uh, to attack the upcoming infantry forces. So this is very important. I expected them to play a lot of, uh, a lot of mounted rifles, that's why I brought seven mounted Jaegers. but they actually did not bring many. Five is quite a normal number. And uh, this is very important um, to regroup your, <coughs> your cavalry forces first before uh, moving directly in, because otherwise uh, it, uh, your formation is still in chaos and um, your forces you can see they uh, are running to their positions uh, and this is uh, not very good if when you are uh, shooting and half of your unit is still somewhere here or here in the formation of another unit then you will kill a lot of your own men. Okay, um, here and here it is important that you uh, 
move around here and here so not uh, don't give a, an order to go from here to here because then uh, your army will back uh, around this this corner and same on this position <coughs> so let's go he moves up his mounted rifles I move up mine we have uh, the we have superior a superior cuff force since uh, I have more mounted rifles and also uh, Atos has uh, lances here and uh, the British light dragoons are held back in reserve so far he flanks in a brilliant move the mounted rifles they didn't shoot the Tovachis I targeted uh, all the all their troops in the forest and also targeted the Cossack cavalry they have no chance against the mounted Jaegers and have very low morale so they are already out of the game Atos uh, attacked the flank of the mounted rifles but now retreats his lances he charged uh, my Jaegers because my Jaegers have better statistics in shooting than uh, his uh, the, the, his Russian mounted rifles, but his mounted rifles are better in melee. But now he retreated. I did not suffer many casualties, nor did he. <coughs> I'm shooting the uh, musketeers, which are still deploying. The Semenovsky lifeguard is also here. This uh, guard is very expensive and very good in, in melee, better than the old guard in melee, but uh, <coughs> for a guard not that good in shooting, and um, well, uh, you should only use it when you really plan to go into melee, because otherwise you should use the lifeguard foot as the Russians. Okay, um, I secured the area with uh, my my infantry everywhere so Atos can deploy <coughs> my foot guards are in the second row my mounted Jaegers are still fighting <laughs> the musketeers but now I retreat them I moved my Jaegers here to deploy the stakes Lifeguards are holding the ground on their left. <coughs> I'm suffering casualties with my Jaegers. In general, the Jaegers are very bad. Uh, they um, have a very bad reloading skill. I forced the Russian guards into squares, also the musketeers, and moved away my Jaegers over here, and Atos uh, takes over here on the left, but the light infantry uh, is incoming, the 17th regiment is pretty good, so this is a real threat and also the Russian Jaegers they don't have good statistics but they have a great a great uh, firepower in um, on um, a low distance they charged the lancers and their own musketeers and Atos moved up his <coughs> Prussian fusiliers their light inf br uh, British light infantry is not yet in position, and he moved very closely to the to the opponents. The British foot infantry takes over over here on their left and tries to fight back my um, my attacks, and I move in very <laughs> very closely here as well against the Jaegers. I wanted to move him back, uh, so m uh, so to scare him of being melee charged.
but my units get destroyed pretty hard. As I said, this is a very good position for the attacker. My cavalry is still fighting the British forces over here, and I moved very far already on the right. I didn't have backline so far, now I move them here, and more cavalry is moved there as well. Finally, the British five lights, which are exhausted, are going in. The Fusiliers are fighting a 28 mounted rifle unit in the forest. <coughs> the stakes also give some protection to, to line infantry. Some bullets get stuck in the in the stakes. So this is uh, this kind of helps Atos to defend this flank. I gave orders to shoot the cavalry. And the British Lightfoot is still not engaging. So this is uh, this enables uh, Atos to inflict a lot of uh, casualties with his uh, light infantry so far. My cavalry got ta got targeted by all the five lights, so they are uh, out of the game already. And the Russian forces are double lining over here. So Atos got pushed back from the stakes, and Atos uh, and uh, Krokel moved his mounted rifles through the stakes, both of them. This costed him a lot of a lot of riders, but they survived and charged the center now, and he charges also his musketeers, and uh, uh, this enabled him to move closer with his light infantry, and destroy my, my squares. And I charged the, uh, my mounted Jaegers against the small units, a unit which cannot form square, and stopped him and his advance. I had to form square over here as well. He has a very good position with uh, his uh, foot infantry here. This uh, this square can be targeted very well. Now the light uh, dragoons are incoming, and over here another mounted rifles are charging. He moved again through the remaining stakes. But Artus has two second lines to fight off the cavalry. I charge my militia here to push back his light infantry, so we uh, can gain space with our light infantry again. But uh, we suffer a counter charge of light dragoons and mounted rifles, which again pushes us back, so they can deploy <laughs> their light infantry again. <coughs> I retreat my squares, my second lines targeted uh, the cavalry, and my Jaegers are around here as well, but stationary, doing nothing. I retreated my militia to do the same thing, namely charging the light foot again. And again, the cavalry incoming on the right, and they charged their lifeguards, the Seminovsky lifeguards, so good use of them, against the line infantry, which stands no chance against the Russians. My militia got stuck, the light dragoons did a lot of damage. They are targeted by many units, but they now they, now they fled, but they fought kind of to the last man. <coughs> now, 
Atos is more or less out of reserves here and has to move in his foot guards. The one here is already in in fight, but they are getting charged by the 37 lifeguard of foot here. This will inflict some some casualties on the guards as well. They are trapping. Over here, I'm double lining as well. A bit with two uh, two infantry. And I hope to fight back the British over here. He did a very good thing. He uh, retreated his smaller units and used them as a backline and uh, committed his full units uh, for his first first line. We have grand moral problems over here. This would have been a good time to uh, rally your troops. They did, we didn't. <coughs> and this is a problem now. This infantry does not form squ is not able to form square. The fusiliers are in a, a vulnerable position. I form squares again, but the light dragoons will uh, the second light dragoon will unit will inflict another many casualties <coughs> and the British forces are deploying to shoot but I already reformed and sent my Jaegers over here to uh, to get some some shots off on this foot infantry he sees that and runs away now and charges my Jaegers Atos destroyed the, the their right wing so uh, uh, by a counter attack on his left. Only the Moscow musketeers are here, and Godi did not have any backlines over here, and uh, provided no cover for uh, crow kill. That's why this was possible. The Brandenburg Uhlans killed a lot of small units. Another charge by the Moscow Musketeers over here on the Musketeers. Ouch! But the foot guard countercharged. And they will destroy the Moscow Musketeers. The small units of Goldie come over here to reform a right flank. And I helped Atos with some mounted Jaegers against the Moscow Musketeers and also sent my militia again against the Lightfoot as I told you and my mounted Jaegers over here the last one on the right forced him into squares the Connard Ranges and foot guards are dropping Atos uh, went into light formation because they have no high numbers not such high numbers anymore the Russians keep charging in melee but they are destroyed now and it's only the British who still fight apart from the Russian general which is targeted by my shooter cuff but these units can't form squares anymore and over here there is only one back line well, this is why I didn't charge my my infantry yet I want this unit to shoot first and I destroy the small the small units over here with my cavalry the Coldstream guards are still around with 99 and some light British infantry Now his infantry shot. That's why I charged my troops, uh, my my cavalry, but uh, they still suffered many casualties on their way to the British lines. But the British foot fled, and I charged the uh, light infantry into the rear, while Atos uh, charges them in from the from the other side with his foot guards, and also the second Prussian foot guards, for a foot guard unit is still around. 
and we surrounded the British Light Foot Force and Atos Musketeers are still around on the on our left flank my lifeguard of foot is also still in the fight and attacks the their left continuously they fought off the two cavalry units but we they don't have the numbers to uh, win this battle anymore my Jaegers are still around but have a very bad line of sight here I go closer and his units here fled only the Coldstream guards hold the ground and also the foot guards So this was the second game of the uh, team championship tournament against the insect team. I think this was uh, round two. There was also a round one where um, three players played. <coughs> Maybe I will cast one of them as well. So good game to our opponents. Uh, my Jaegers are still chasing. Uh, Atos killed the uh, most in this game. So he did very well with his light infantry especially. They did not uh, throw in their light infantry early enough to counter the Prussian Fusiliers. And uh, that's why the Fusiliers of uh, Atos made so much damage. Also he successfully uh, fought off the attacks on the left and I uh, continuously attacked on the right. <coughs> Crocal did a lot of damage still, with his, especially I think with his light infantry, which was used very well. Mm. My lifeguards, my three lifeguards did a lot of damage. This one didn't, but they didn't lose much. They were in reserve. And the Jaegers did very bad, <laughs> but they uh, uh, they deployed this uh, this line of stakes. So uh, in theory, they killed a lot of cavalry units as well. So, see you on the next video. Bye.